Oh, uh, hey guys, Zero Fruit, and welcome back to another eBay unboxing. If you guys want more videos like this, smack that like button, subscribe with that notification bell turned on. If you guys watch this video from start to finish, without skipping through the video, you're part of the awesome squad. Also, FedEx, do not throw packages at my door. Please, please put them down carefully. Because this is what happened. The guy literally threw the package at my door, knocked on my door, and walked away. I understand you probably had a frustrating day, bro, but don't be throwing my shizit all over the place in the snow. Thanks. But, guys, I cannot wait to review and show you guys what I have in this big old box here. I already got part of this playset that I ordered, but this playset's complete, and it was on one great deal on eBay. It has something to do with that playset right there, so let's go ahead and get into it. Thank you guys so much for all your support. Check out my main channel, the top right hand corner of this video. Subscribe there as well. Let's go ahead and get into these fancy dancy skizzers. And uh, let's get into this box. I'm really hoping nothing broke. Man, I, I, I really hope nothing broke, guys. This is an old Chap Mia playset, Dinosaur Valley, or AKA Dino Valley. And here we go, we already got the goodies right now. Oh yeah, I mean this obviously is a used playset, so here we go, we get the figs, get the dinosaur, get the dinosaur egg. Big Chap Mia Animal Planet playset. Let's go ahead, oh man, I have so many of these gates. This is a re it's got a research um, thing on it, not Dino Valley like the other one did. We got research. Oh, there we go, danger, the danger one, not the Dino Valley or what's the Dino Valley? I don't know. You get a bunch of these gates. You get the cool, awesome-looking helicopter. Got a truck. This is kind of like oh man, we have another one of these gates. This is exactly like the Command Compound Center, the Kenner Command Compound Center from Jurassic Park. But just like a Chap Mia version. I mean, you can't go wrong with it, right? Okay, there's that piece to the to the truck. Come on, come on. There's that piece that goes to the truck. You get this gun that goes on top of the Research Center. Speaking of the Research Center, this bad boy right here. Got the hole in works here. I'll go ahead and show you guys more of this, obviously, in a minute. Oh, there's a piece to the actual back of the research center. I want to know what this card. Whoa! They even included the cardboard box. No, part of the cardboard box. Oh, that's pretty freaking cool of them. I can hang that up. Well, you get this little. Uh, I don't know what this is. It's like a bucket or some sort, or like a some sort of armor. And my favorite dino that I've never had before, the Dilophosaurus. I thought it was gonna be way bigger than this, to be honest with you, but it looks like it's not. So uh, what else we got in here? Actually, you know what? Nothing else left in the box. Looks like a little note, but other than that, that's empty. So here's part of the Animal Planet box. I mean, this is pretty cool that they gave us this. That's pretty awesome. You can see all the action. This is definitely going up on my wall. I enjoy that very much, so. That is pretty freaking sick. You get four figures, two dinosaur figs, and, uh, well, some other dinosaur figs on here. You get two vehicles and the research control center. Very awesome. All right, so the first thing that happens, guys, is I go to move this one character's leg and his leg completely comes off. Now thank goodness that I already have this figure so I don't need this one. But I mean, come on, that, that was not in the eBay package listing. That was not in the description at all that one of the figures were broken. Um, luckily this figure works just fine. Let's see what else we got in this bag right here. See if there's any more surprises. We got another figure and he does work great. His arms do move.
and we have another character here, another Dinosaur Valley character, and he is, everything, his limbs are attached, everything looks like he comes like a little backpack. Is this removable? Yes, it is, and nothing else comes off of him, so that's pretty awesome. Not too bad, but this guy will be going in the garbage. So you also get some of these random claw, another one of these random claw things. Supposed to, there we go. Very cool, very huge compared to these figures, but uh, still very awesome. Next up, this little missile goes in this gun right here and shoots like so. So that works, that's good. Next up we have the rest of this bag, I mean that's all empty now. Um, these baby dinosaurs, and we've seen these with my Kid Connection play sets and stuff like that that I've reviewed um, in the past. So you get a Stegosaurus, a T-Rex baby, and a Parasaur baby. And they all go on this little egg right here that you can open right up, hopefully. It should just come right apart, like so. And then you'll be able to put the baby dinosaur right in there. So, very cool. Next up, we have the truck that I had to put this thing on. Um, this is a pretty cool Animal Planet truck. I don't have this one at all, and it looks pretty sick. Um, so this thing does go up. Um, you have to take this, kind of move this around in order to put your character in there. But it does go up, and you can put your characters right in there. I'm going to use one of these guys. See how well they fit. Oh, it looks like it's not really made for this dude, is it? Uh, not too bad. Not too bad at all. So, his head kind of pops out a little bit, but he also don't have him all the way in there, as you can see with his feet. But still, I mean, he's still pretty sick. Not going to lie. Still loving. Next up, we have the helicopter. I mean, this thing is really cool looking. I love the detail, the camo, the blue, the colors. Love it all. And this whole thing does spin. So that's pretty cool. Not too bad. Wheels move. This kind of comes up and goes down. Don't know how well these characters are going to fit in here this time, but uh, not too bad. But obviously he would get his head chopped off, but other than that, I mean, still pretty cool playset. Next up, we have the small little Velociraptor here. Pretty cool looking. You push this little button right here and his arms move. His limbs do move very well. His arms and legs do move. He's not broken. That's good. Um, and his mouth does open and close as well. Pretty cool. Now, just like in the other control station that I showed you guys, uh, this thing, this one works a lot better. It's a lot less loose than the other one. Um, obviously, the gun still goes up here where this little thing goes right in. Very easy. Clicks and shoots very well. Um, you have this little elevator that you can go ahead and grab the back of and easily pull the guys right up all the way to the top. Now is it going to stay like the other one? Kind of. Or I could, oh, I could always just switch these out, those two. That one's a little bit better condition than this one when it comes to that. Also, you could put, if I turn this bad boy around... There's this little door right here where you can put your other researcher, soldier guy, whatever you want to call him. Is their other little figure? He goes right there in the window. You can close that, lock that, like so. Now, if I turn this around, you got that little soldier dude right in there. Pretty sick. This door does open that and then you got the extra door all the way back there the heavy door that'll swing right open as well so that's pretty cool and obviously the helicopter 
can go right up here on the helipad. Pretty sick. This little ladder on the side can move wherever you want. It's pretty awesome. So if you want to, you can climb up on the elevator, get up on the ladder, get on the top of the helipad to get in the helicopter. Also over here we have these little hooks, which you go ahead and put the dinosaur gates in. You hook at them and connect them. Just like that. So, and that goes all the way around with all these gates. And they all hook and connect the same exact way. Last but certainly not least of this Dino Valley Control Station playset, we have the humongous Dilophosaurus. This thing is so awesome. I thought these were going to be like uh, fabric, but they are not. They are plastic. He looks so sick. So cool. His eyes are pretty scary looking. And he's got this little button right underneath here. You can pull with your finger and he'll chomp. Pretty sick. So you can have him like eat a guy if you wanted to. Pretty awesome. And he, he's love the colors. Very gorgeous. Very sick playset. Now let's go ahead and put everything together. Show you what it looks like all together. Alright guys, well that was the complete Dino Valley Control Station um, Chat Mia Animal Planet Playset Review slash unboxing. Um, I've, been, I've, wanted, I've been wanting to collect these Dino, Dino Valley playsets for a long time, so I'm glad that I got my hands on this. I mean, unfortunately we had that little accident over here with that dude that broke, but... I have another one to replace him, so that's no biggie. I'll put them all on display. But if you guys want more videos like this, do me a favor, big favor. Smack that like button. Subscribe to the notification bell. Turn on so you guys never miss an upload. And if you guys watch the video from start to finish, but ask me the video, you're part of the awesome squad. Thank you guys so much for all the support. Check out the top right-hand corner of this video for more toy reviews, my main channel, and much, much more. At 10K subscribers, I will be doing a giveaway. So make sure you are subscribed to both my channels. You smack the like button. You watch the videos from start to finish, and you comment in the comment section. You guys don't forget to stay awesome. See you guys later. Not a bad bye.